So that's what's happening here. If these individuals don't make the right decision, and I think they are, I don't think that, no, they know. I don't think that they thought that these individuals were going to look as closely as they have and they have. And that's one of the reasons why it's been so important to stay out of the way as uh, one of my favorite tarot readers who will remain nameless unless she unless she get up in the comments or message me and tell me, yes, go ahead and say my name. Say my name when no one is around, baby. Say I love you. Um, if you ain't running game, say my name, say my name. Um, so if she hits me up and tells me like it's cool, fine. But otherwise, I'm not I'm not really trying to share her. Um because I don't want nobody um <laughs> bothering her. Anyway, she she posted yesterday about um staying out the way and this is that situation where there are some people who are otherwise good who started gang stalking and they had a choice and they knew that they shouldn't have done, they shouldn't have gotten involved, but they did. And they put people in a precarious position where now they're like, I want to get involved and try and help this person, but I don't think that I should. And they're right. They're, they shouldn't. And it's not because they're not good people. I keep hearing good kids, but they went really far to lie. They went really far. And um, I heard it's blowing up in their in the face, man. Okay. Um, anyway, so that's that. The other thing that I got is that in terms of the same group stalking type thing that's going on, there's somebody who is um, has said fuck it in terms of them being gang stalked and cyber bullied too. And this is someone who not many people know. So it's not a situation where it's like one of those big groups where there's lots of members, um, like those big Facebook groups where people um, gang stalk, like what I was talking about earlier. Um, and recognize that, you know, if, if that's something that you're experiencing or you have experienced, you can definitely get to a point where you stop giving a fuck. Like, now I'm sensitive to energy, but I'm not sensitive to that. Like, like recognize that when I, I posted a video probably about two or three months ago where I talked about like the opposition, it was more than three months ago, the opposition will make you who you are. Recognize that this this gang stalking, bullying, cyber bullying, people trying to sabotage and blase, woo woo, made me who the fuck I am. Like, no, I would not have surrendered to the most high if I hadn't been going through this shit, if I didn't see people taking pictures of me and my daughter when we're just out and about we over at the boardwalk we chilling and doing whatever like if i hadn't caught people if i hadn't caught people doing that shit and talking about oh my gosh the one that you know the posts that are about her like it gets so much attention da, 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 da. like i do tend to get a lot of attention and it's so fucked up because i don't even like a whole lot of attention i like to be out the way but that shit really will like that attention and the energy is an opportunity to teach you how to transmute negative energy. Recognize that this shit will make you, okay? But don't try and do this shit on your own. Don't try and manage it, the negative feelings, the negative energy. Don't try and do it on your own. The, the main element to how it is that I was able to pull myself up out of this shit was I surrendered, okay? I said I needed help. I cried when I needed to cry. I didn't try and hold that shit and I didn't try and hold it back because it was like, why am I not, why don't I want to cry? That's cleansing, right? That's a cleansing. That's a, that's a shower for your soul. That's a shower for your energy. That's them, you know, like you need them tears. And if I hadn't had to endure all that shit and surrender, then I wouldn't have developed these spiritual gifts and I wouldn't know who I am. And it's absolutely something that you can get through. It's not, it's not, 
fuck them. All you got to do is one of the things you have to do is just make sure that you focus in on the things that matter. And they absolutely do not matter. Because if they did, and they should matter, but they don't. Because if they did, they would be focusing on themselves and not you. So, um, anyway, there's somebody who had been blackmailed for a while because there was a smaller group that... And I know this to be true here, but I know it's also true in other places. There's a smaller group that's dedicated to ousting men who are um, sexually fluid or who are like, who have experimented sexually with other men. And so this is going to be people who are part of a group where um, they have watched men that live in their city or that used to live in their city who were catfished by a man who was pretending to be a woman. And they essentially, when they met the person and found out that it was a, it was a man instead of a woman, instead of leaving, they had a sexual encounter with this person, not realizing that they were being secretly videotaped. And that videotape was then being shared. And essentially the viewership was being sold to people within the community who same thing as, as what I mentioned before, are able to sit and talk about this person and the fact that they explore their sexuality and they're able to create a dialogue, right? And to create a narrative that's not true or where some of it's true and the rest of it is because the part where they were catfish is left out, the part where violating these people by videotaping them without their permission is left out. And this is somebody who's more than likely either connected to someone who it might be connected to the harem heavenly or might be his, uh, his sexual partner, his secret sexual partner might be connected to a legion of men who, um, I heard top each other, top each other off, but who do sexual things with each other, um, as part of like some sort of sex rituals. More than likely, it's going to be like a bunch of football players is what I heard. Um, those, it's, it's those, he's the lover of somebody in the group who likes to decide. They hate women. I heard women haters um, who decides like whether women are going to get married or not. Or they marry women to purposely like steal from them, steal energy, break their hearts and things like that. Very demonic. But there's somebody who was part of it who's tired of being blackmailed, who's tired of being afraid that his tape essentially is going to be leaked. And he doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't care anymore. He's just like, whatever, I explore my sexuality. It is what it is. I don't care. Um, because people are already talking anyway. Like people have already seen it anyway. And so, yeah, somebody, I heard somebody went rogue. Somebody done went rogue. Um, and it's just like, yeah, I don't care anymore. And I heard, they're, I heard they're not looking for him anymore. They found him. So whoever this gay guy is that was catfishing all these different men, recording them without their permission and um, posting it on the internet and selling like, Selling clips, yeah. It's not even revenge porn. These are not people. I don't know if... I heard that women in the community told him who to proposition. Like, oh, I want you to... Yeah, paid to have him proposition. Like, oh, I want you to try my baby daddy. Okay, yeah. Some of... Like, yeah, that... I heard that's the basis for it all. They paid him like go after this one I want to see if he'll do it I want to see if he'll do it like and recognize like not only is this a violation for the obvious reasons but it's also not really cool to like make men feel bad about exploring their sexuality because a lot of these men I'm hearing aren't even actually interested in men it is that experience because the area that's being stimulated is an area that needs stimulation and doesn't typically get stimulation in relationships that they have with women. 
and it's only accessible one way. And a lot of people see that as being demonic. They don't see their behavior as being demonic and they're sending someone to catfish a person and videotape them and post it on the internet and share it. And what. They don't see anything they're doing as demonic. It's, it's crazy how people are able to like um, compartmentalize right and wrong depending on what they want to see. But I have to, you know, I always have to be careful and make sure that I don't fall into the category and stay in the categories that I talk about. I'm a fall, you know, this healing thing, evolving and growing is a forever journey. It's, it doesn't end. But I'm not going to stay in the same spot ever. Um, but there's no shame with these men. Like, there's... So what? Um, so what? Not the ones who are part of a coven and who use sex magic to try and pull women in. Certain uh, light beings try to pull them in so that they can steal their harvest is what I heard. Not them. Somebody asked was like, I'm a, um, somebody asked said like, I'm a getter. I'm a marrier, I'm a nut in her, and I'm going to leave her like the pickaninny that she is. Somebody said that. Somebody has their eye on somebody, and their whole intention is to just drain their energy and take their and break their heart. I heard take their heart. Pickaninny. Who the fuck is this talking about a damn pickaninny? A pickaninny? Get your... Uh, Jim Crow euphemisms. Um, wow. So yeah, that's all I got. Um, hopefully this gives you some sort of confirmation. Um, I certainly am rooting for you and rooting for the truth to be told. And I'm signing off.